Hi, my name is Craig Allen. I'm an air traffic controller for air services at Essendon Tower. Essendon Airport's been here since 1934. This tower's been here since 1956. It was built for the Melbourne Olympics. We have a surface movement controller who talks to the aircraft on the ground. That position is combined with the coordinator position who interacts with Melbourne Tower and Melbourne TCU. And then we have the aerodrome controller who talks to the aircraft in the air. If traffic dictates, all three positions are combined into one. Uh, if it's busy enough, it's split into SMC Coord and the aerodrome controller. Based here are the police air wing, uh, air ambulance. Over summer we've got the firefighting helicopters, uh, corporate jets, all, all the way down to there's a couple of flying schools based here with their, their Cessna 172s and their Cherokees. The most important thing that all towers controllers love is windows. We get to look out of this view every day. Some days are better than this, um, but it's even though it's the same view every day, it's different every day. It's it's never the same. Left heading 130 visual, runway 17, clear for takeoff. And I can remember one day my mother pointed an ad to me in the paper and said, you know, this looks like it would be for you. So gave it a try, went along, did, went through the, the interview process and the testing process, was lucky enough to get through, um, got selected for a course. What I found most challenging as part of, part of the training was I hadn't done any study for a couple of years. I was a little bit, bit out of the, the, the loop when it came to study. I uh, initially struggled to get back into the groove. Now the course is, is based at, in Melbourne Centre. Um, they've got a specially set up learning academy. It has a, a 360 degree simulator, uh, three 240 degree simulators for tower controllers. As you can see, Essendon's a, a, a very busy airport, has a very wide mix of traffic, anything from a, a flying school, some helicopter flight training. We have an RPT operator. It's a very unique airport. It's situated so close to Melbourne Tower. Uh, we're actually under the flight paths for uh, runway 34 at Melbourne. They, they, right base is overflies Essendon Tower at two and a half thousand feet. It means when they're doing that, we can only use up to one and a half thousand feet. Uh, it means we have to work extra hard for our own traffic. Air Services has 29 controlled towers scattered all around the country. There's opportunity for travel. I've worked at four of them. The job also gives us the opportunity to get out of our day-to-day -day routine. Now, I've been lucky enough to work the last couple of Avalon Air Shows and uh, prior to that I've also worked on a trackside tower at the Australian Grand Prix. I'd, I'd highly recommend air traffic control as a career for anyone who's interested in aviation. Maybe doesn't want to be a pilot. You don't have to love planes. But throughout the course of the job, you'll, you'll learn to love planes. A good day at work is, is when you've turned up, you've solved problems and you feel like you being at work has made a difference to the aviation community.